Hey, this is Marco with Future Studio University. In this video, we will ask the user a simple yes or no question on the command line. In the previous lessons, we asked the user to provide an input on the command line and the user had to type freely the text that he wanted to provide. So this time we want to ask him a yes or no question and don't accept any other answer. So he shouldn't provide a random text that is assigned as a value for yes or no. We just want to ask him a, a question that he has to either confirm or just pass no. And let's do it with aces this dot confirm method. And again, you have to await the answer because you want to ask the user on the command line and wait for the user to provide the answer. So let's just ask a funny question like, <laughs> do you want another question? So again, let's just console log the value for confirm and start the ask command. All right, we'll go with the stranger default name. And then here's our question. Do you want another question? And the default answers are over here. You can see that there is the first answer for yes is an uppercase, and that's the default selected answer. So if you just pass enter, it will fall back to true and assign the value true to our confirm value variable. Let's start it again. And if you just pass a random text, it will fall back to no because it doesn't accept any random value, it just accept y or n. And again, just to make sure that we can pass in the no value, it will assign false to the confirm value. All right, that's kind of nice if you wanna ask another question. So let's say if the user confirmed that he wants to be asked another question, you can go over to ask another question like this, and just a new question. So let's just put it over here. But the confirm question provided you a default answer of yes and no, and by default selected yes as the answer. And you can just update the default answer by providing an object over here. It's the second argument for the confirm question, and you have to set the default to false. So starting the let's clear it over here go for stranger and now you can see that y isn't uppercase anymore but the n is and if you go for just enter it will fall back to no instead of yes and in case you have options on your command line where you want to let the user opt in instead of opt out it's a nice way to provide the negative value first so Let's switch back and in this case, the user won't be asked another question. So let's make sure we can ask the user another question like this. Let's go for, yep. And here are done because we didn't do anything with another value, but it asked us the test question. All right, so in case the user confirmed for another question, you might want to ask the user another question and let them select from a list of previously defined choices. So this is what we will look in the next video and I hope I will see you there.